Coming up in this episode, new reports have emerged about The Last of Us remake, more characters are to be added in Fortnite in the future and Resident Evil Village DLC might not be free. Last year we had reports of Last of Us being remade by Naughty Dog and it looks like there are new rumors talking about this remake coming this year. Tom Henderson who has leaked a lot of information in the past, especially Call of Duty and Battlefield with most of it being true, says that he has heard from multiple sources that Last of Us remake is almost done and will be releasing sometime this very year, around Q2 or Q3 of 2022. He also heard that Last of Us 2 factions and a director's cut might be on the way. Recently in the Sony CES conference where Sony talked about its upcoming project including movies, tech and video games, Neil Druckmann talked about how they're working on multiple projects at the same time. Not only that, there was a small montage of all the PlayStation games which showed Ellie and Joel in the screen. Now that could be an indication that a remake is on its way. Remakes nowadays are a new trend for video game studios to apply it on their games and bring that nostalgia feeling back. With that being said, many might be angry with the fact that there are plans for the remake of The Last of Us. But to be honest, Last of Us is almost a decade old, as the game was released sometime back in 2013 and its remastered version released in 2014. So it sort of makes sense to have a remake and utilize the new engine that Naughty Dog used for The Last of Us Part 2. Comparing Last of Us and Last of Us Part 2, you can see major differences and so it might make sense to have a remake. But maybe at the same time, it's not because if you take a look at the game right now, it still doesn't look that bad as compared to games like Mafia 1 which looked terrible and that's why a remake was necessary. What are your thoughts about the remake on this game? Let us know in the comments. It looks like Paramount is working with Epic Games to bring some new characters to Fortnite. This is coming from Special Nick from Xbox Era who says that their first character would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now the reason for them to come to Fortnite could be because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are coming back with a brand new game called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge which looks super cool and has that classic touch to the game in the 2D environment. Although apart from that, Paramount also owns characters such as SpongeBob SquarePants, Avatar The Last Airbender and many more. So maybe they could be added in the Fortnite in the future. Fortnite now seems to be a place to feature new characters from different movies or TV shows or even game studios and promote them as well as they host different events. Fortnite kind of is now becoming a hub for entertainment and to witness your favorite characters and play as them. Just probably not in the way that you have seen them in shows or movies or anywhere else. What is your favorite moment in the recent history in Fortnite? Let us know in the comments. According to a brand new report, it seems like E3 2022 will be again an online event. This is coming from Games Beat, where Entertainment Software Association, who handles E3, talked about how because of the new variant rising, the safety of the exhibitors and attendees could have a big impact, which is why they're moving it into an online event again. Covid is definitely playing a horrible role in everybody's life once again as Omicron variant is everywhere now, so it's tough to do all these events. There are also talks about that many studios do not want to pay an unreasonable high rate to just showcase their video games at E3 to reach more consumers and market their game as much as they can, because at this time they can do it simply by themselves. We have seen publishers hosting their own live streams to showcase games and maybe in the future that is exactly what's gonna happen. Regardless of that, this year could be exciting for video games even though it's not exciting outside in real life. With that being said, it's very important for everybody to stay indoors. This new variant is powerful than the last one and anyone who's getting it might even getting it without any symptoms. So make sure to utilize masks and sanitize yourself and obviously keep your distance. Ever since the announcement of Resident Evil Village getting a DLC last year, fans have been waiting and excited about what the DLC will have. Well, we got new reports about the DLC coming in from Aesthetic Gamer on Twitter. Upon someone saying that the DLC being free would be a great thing to have, Aesthetic Gamer replied that there is no way that Resident Evil Village has 100% free DLC. If there is a free DLC piece included, it strongly alludes that there is one more DLC in the work. Capcom themselves have said in October in the Investor Business Report that they had a free Monster Hunter Rise and Resident Evil Village DLC in the work. So maybe it could be possible that they have confirmed right then and there that there is one piece of DLC which is free and the other piece of DLC which is not free. Nobody can be sure whether this is the truth because there has been no talks about the DLCs. It could be very early to tell whether any of the DLC is ready or not. When Resident Evil Village came out, the DLCs were not planned but because many people requested for a DLC to happen, Capcom is now working on it. 
so we might get the DLC later this year or maybe next year. What do you think about this DLC and what it might have to offer? Maybe play as Chris Redfield or something else? Let us know in the comments. Well, with that being said, those are the top gaming news of this very week. Hope you guys enjoyed it, got some information out of it. And if you did, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to watch more every single week.